In this video, we're going to show you the recent changes made to the Kelly Guide and stuff for the agent sites, as well as your marketing profile. So if your website loaded today and you have the Keller Williams generic information and it's non-branded to you, we have to now go into settings in command and we're going to come down to connect settings and marketing profile and they have done this little toggle here that you have to enable. So if you want your marketing profile, for compliance, there are a couple things we had to make sure we did. So when you turn this on, it's going to say, hey, you must make sure it's got the Market Center DBA logo doing business as. You must include the ownership statement for the whatever website footer. And then compliance with local board commission rules. So it's making sure your website is compliant, and that's why they did this. So if you go to your site and only see the Keller Williams, this is where you want to acknowledge and turn that on. So I'm going to acknowledge and turn that on, and this is Elizabeth's account. We're helping her here. She's got her photo. She's got all her info. Now, it did make me re-enter in this, the Market Center Brokerage Office number. This is now a new field that wasn't there before. Technically, our Market Center Brokerage name is Keller Williams Realty Professionals. So we want to make sure that that matches. I think I have everything else here. And in our state, it's not required to have our brokerage license number. But I can enter that in. Um, actually, we can say MC711 if we want to put a Market Center number there. It's got a Lego footer, but I did learn this Lego footer that I used to teach around KDB.com is already there. So we can just put each office independently owned and operated, which I think we've all seen that message. She's got all her links here and everything is good. So we're going to save and now it'll take a few minutes and then her marketing profile and website will update with that info. Now that's the marketing profile part if your site is blank. If we come down to the agent sites portion, you're going to notice some changes here as well. So now when I go to the agent site pages, if you've done your Kelly guide, you will have three pages here. If you have not, you can scroll down and do the learn with more with Kelly guide and they've added some changes to the Kelly guide. So we're going to go through it. So we're going to say learn more with the Kelly guide. And this now is a new prompt. Do you want to use the KDB site? Do you have placed or want to keep using them so that way you can have that and get a site in the future? Or do you want to explore the options and look at the marketplace for other website options? I'm going to say we want to use the new KDB sites. So we're going to submit. And it's going to say, okay, what would you like to get out of this guide? So this guide is similar, but now you've got your compliance reminder. This is the newest change to the Kelly guide. So it's making sure you've got what you need. And if you need to get your approved DBA, doing business as, and Market Center logo, you can click here to go to KDB Connect, Marketing and Logos, and access the one for your Market Center. It also states here that KW is not responsible for verifying the accuracy of your website and branding. So if you're in a state that's very strict around this, make sure to get with your MCA, anyone who's in charge of that, your broker, on what things are required in your website. So we're going to acknowledge and continue. Now this is going to take us to the same wizard you've seen before. So we've already got our domain name confirmed. I've already got that. So... That's locked in for her. We've already got our information filled in from the marketing profile, which we just did together. Now, the one thing that's not in marketing profile is your professional job title. So you can say broker associate, realtor, whatever you want. We're choosing real estate consultant. It'll have all your information in here that you should have had before. Any biographies, legal notes, market center numbers new. Imagery, they did change the rules. So you can upload a normal logo now. So if you didn't know, even though it says 360 by 360, it will let you upload the regular logo. You might want to make sure it's not too big because it will resize it there. So we'll do a separate video on how to get it to the right size. Make sure all your information is there. We're going to save and continue. You've got your theme choices, and again, because they're changing this logo now to be the Keller Williams logo or your Market Center logo. Let's see if we've updated yet. It doesn't necessarily matter right now as far as the red or the dark theme, because this is really going to be just how links highlight in the system. The KW in the corner is going to be replaced by your Market Center logo for state compliance in most areas. You can change your text like you did before, and you can delete these images if you don't want to use them and upload five of your own. So we're going to save and continue. And then we've got the ability to go through our pages. So if you've done this guide before, this may already be filled in for you. This is a page here that we've done. Now, I did notice the name went back, so I'll say Keller Williams 
Realty. There in the page, we've got our intro paragraph, beliefs, some information about Elizabeth, the mission statement she has, and her information on that one. So I'm done with that page. About me, we updated her new profile yesterday. So that one's all good. And contact us. So again, this is just revisiting the new changes to the Kelly Guide. I'm going to say OK on that. And now when I come to agent site pages, I can preview what the site's going to look like. Now it's going to take it about 15 minutes for the cookies to refresh and show the marketing profile. Again, to make sure you've got that done, I'm going to hit the back button here, go to your marketing profile and enable that. If you come to the agent site settings, that was what we taught yesterday. You've got your domain name here in case you need to change it, your theme options there. And then your pages here so you can add more pages, remove pages, preview the site, all that great stuff. In this example, though, I'm going to go right back really quick to the marketing profile in settings. It takes me right there, and I noticed the toggle went back off, so we're going to turn that on. And click our Save button. Everything else should be filled in. And then within the next 15 minutes or so, her website will update to include the new logo. I'm also going to create content around how do you do the domain forwarding for GoDaddy and for Google Domains. So that's how we get this turned on. Your biggest goal is to come and choose your marketing branding agent site to turn that profile on to make sure you've got your compliance things in order and to come to the agent sites and make sure you go through the Kelly guide and you're going to notice some new changes around that. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect or YouTube today.